Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. All right, guys, we're out here in Cherville, Indiana. I'm out here today with Mr. Joe Cool. We are here at the Cherville Police Department slash court. So we're just going to take a look around. People at City Hall were mighty pleasant, so we're hoping that trend continues. No smoking facility, obviously. This was built October 11, 2000. Dedicated to the citizens of Sherville. It's nice, it's got a little roster there. Bang, gang flag. Got an interview room, public bathrooms. You should always have an interview room in the police lobby. There's some uh, child safety seat information if you guys need it. I'm sure most of it's pretty easy to find though, but this is, uh, I guess, Indiana. Each state's different as far as that goes. Officer of the Year, it's uh. These are all the chiefs of police. Dog park. So if you're uh, if you're in the dog park, it says closed January fourth through February January eighth. I wonder why this is still up. This is like almost six months ago. I should probably take down these old signs. Cash on the tour at least. Fingerprinting tax and reports. You got to This is, okay, so this is a town court, I guess, window. For business hours. You need something, sir? Can I get a couple of these stickers? The poison help line? Thank you. Do you have any uh, Sherville Police Department or Sherville Town stickers or anything? No. Some departments do. That's why. That's why I was asking. No, I guess we don't. All right. All right, guys, check it out. So you got a poison helpline here. Stickers. Telephone stickers. I guess you could stick them on the back of your phone case you need it but this is you know there's all kinds of poisons out there so make sure you got the the number handy I'll pass these out to people I meet 
And this is a formal complaint sign here. Is that all you need? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to get my other side? It's my better side. I don't think you have a good side. No? no. Oh, man. That's pretty rude. Yeah. Do you know me? I don't. Oh, you just make assumptions, huh? I didn't make assumptions. Oh, you didn't? Was it, was it a guess? Hello. Can I have a mail? No, you're fine. He was just being rude. That's all. You got a supervisor there? What? You got a supervisor? Do I have a supervisor? Yeah. I do have a supervisor. Good. Can I get a word in with him? Um, I'll see what he says. If not, his uh, name and contact number will be fine as well. Yeah, Michael Bork. Kevin. Kevin Bork. Kevin Wagner. Oh, Kevin Wagner. Okay. Do you have a number I can reach? Know, but you can call three two two five thousand. Three two two five thousand. Police department number. Area code two one nine. Area code two one nine. Oh, perfect. What's going on? Good morning. Morning. Good. You good? Yeah, I'm perfect. Anything? No, no. He was just a little rude to me, making assumptions about who I am or what I'm doing. So, okay. but other than that, that's fine. I'll call and talk to the supervisor, see if we can clean it up a little bit. You know, nobody's a criminal automatically or against police or you know what I mean. Like, that's just ridiculous. Understood. Yeah. Have a good day, though, guys. Right, you guys thanks. at City Hall, perfect. Thank you. Lovely ladies. All right, take care. Yep. Now you missed it, dude. You got rude with me. <laughs>